Finally, after five years waiting, we got the opening ceremony of Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games in 2021. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, we probably witnessed history. We witnessed an opening ceremony with zero attendance at the stadium. We witnessed a nerve-wracking game when Chinese 21-year-old shooter Yang Qian won the gold medal. Most importantly, we have witnessed the first amendment to the Olympic motor since it was introduced by Pierre de Coubertin to the IOC in 1913. A few days earlier, the International Olympic Committee has amended its faster, higher, stronger motor to include the world together. As the IOC president Thomas Beck said, solidarity fuels our mission to make the world a better place through sport. We can only go faster we can only aim higher, we can only become stronger by standing together in solidarity. However, there was some noise created by the so-called Western mainstream media, which was even totally opposite to the new Olympic motor. After Yang Qian changed over the game by the last shot, winning the first medal of the 2020 Olympic Games, CNN put a headline on its website saying that gold for China and more COVID-19 cases. Excuse me? Can you tell me what's the relation between a gold medal and COVID-19 cases? <laughs> Why don't you say that when American or Japanese win the gold medals? <laughs> Next time, when you try to make such an allegation, please show your evidence. <laughs> well, in case you found the relation between coronavirus and gold medals, I would call on the IOC to stop awarding all the medals. In the meantime, I will write a letter to the Norwegian Nobel Committee recommending them award you a Nobel Prize in Literature for your excellent fiction writing. <laughs> then guess what? You will win at least one gold medal. <laughs> I'm Henry Ann. See you next time.